My name is Kenny Stills, nine-year NFL veteran, and I'm an advocate for alternative medicine. My passion for mental health really comes from the encouragement that I've had individually on my own journey. Knowing the way that I have thought and the way that I was raised, being pessimistic, negative, really feeling like one of those people that I thought could never change. And then to see my personal growth through therapy, mindset work, and microdose and psilocybin totally changed the way that I think and live and feel. And the easiest way for me to describe it is like, the weight of all the things of the world that kind of come off of your shoulders, come off of your chest. And it just makes it easier for you to live. Psilocybin, mushrooms, therapy, that's, it's all helped me to be able to get to the space to even feel love, to receive love. And so, I mean, all that shit is, is life changing. It makes you want to live longer. I've been playing football since I was six. I'm 29. It's 23 years of football all the time. That's all I know. And luckily for me, I'm passionate about other things. But for some guys, it's like as soon as their career is over, they get into drugs, they get into alcohol, and it starts to go downhill. And so if you don't find a passion, a way to serve other people, you find yourself in a tough spot to transitioning to this man who's like, I can't wait to give another dude a hug and tell him I love him, you know, so that they know if anything were to happen or whatever, just like, hey, you got somebody that loves you and cares about you and that's got your back. After being such a young, angry, like pessimistic person, it's, it's like mind blowing to me. The people that want to make some type of growth or change within their life, like this is the avenue to do it. I guess a little bit faster. And I don't, I don't like saying that in a way like, it, like it's a cheat, but it is. It's like a cheat code to kind of get to the place that you want to go to. First, breaking away from the stigma of psilocybin just being a hippie, trippy, hallucinogenic experience and talking more about us, you know, microdosing it, using it in the right environment. If there's something out there that can help us, why not give it a try? Especially in these smaller dosages, right? If there's going to be no hallucinations to it and you know that it's being controlled, it's something worth trying over, you know, opioids and pills. We've got to normalize this conversation around therapy and microdosing because people deserve to live and deserve to live with joy. And so that's why my idea is to open up a retreat center that uses psilocybin and other psychedelics to help people heal. So to be able to have that mindset where like anything that is like challenging me or anything that I'm afraid of, I want to go after and try. It's like, I know that's something that has also come from the change of you know who I am as a man and microdose and psilocybin.